Hello everybody, it's Nerdboy Weaves here. I am back with a new reaction. And um, yeah, we are finally doing some Nerdcore reactions since for a few days. <laughs> since a, a few days ago. Because I just reacted to uh, the Ahsoka trailer and the Mortal Kombat Smoke trailer a few days ago. So I've been just, I, I'm on vacation now because it's my birthday week. Uh, my birthday was uh, Wednesday. And I knew I was going to have to wait to react to some of these things because we're going to be doing a mass Spider-Verse reaction. We're going, well, it's going to be five video, five re, uh, videos we're reacting to, but we're, it's going to be condensed into one video. Uh, we're going to be reacting to Daddy Fast Nest first. Uh, I'm, go, I'm, I don't know how I'm going to go there, but the other four people we're going to react to is Diggs, Rustage, Halla, and Knight of Breath. Because they all have Spider-Verse rated songs. But we're reacting to Daddy Fastnass featuring uh, Orikeda's uh, Spider-Man 2099 rap canon event from Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. And if you can't tell, I'm wearing a Spider Across the Spider-Verse t-shirt. That's why you see the uh, spider symbol. Uh, it's based on the trailer. It's uh, based on the first poster that came out. Uh, so... I'm going to say this, and I said, and I was like this before the movie came out. I have a love hate relationship with Miguel O'Hara, but this movie made me hate him even more. I wanted to, I already wanted to fight him. I mean, like punch him before the movie came out. This movie made me straight up wanted to bop and weave the fool out of him. I was so pissed off at him. So let's see what Daddy Fantas got. Uh. <laughs> Already going in, and also that uh, sounding good. Um, uh, like. I was thinking it's like my, Miguel to me is literally self righteous. Like he, I have a ranking of the main Spider people in my uh, for this movie for me personally. Uh, Miles ten out of ten because it, it, self explanatory. Like Miles is just a great character. Gwen she had, she really got some good writing for this one. Um, I. She did almost take an L, but I'm glad that in the last parts of the thing, she actually got it herself together. Same thing with Peter, like Peter B. Parker, our Peter. Mayday was freaking adorable. Jessica made me want to made me want to roll my eyes because uh, I will keep looking at her as a hypocrite. This version of her, and I was like, Ugh. and also you t also I'm not I don't even hate her. I'm just disappointed at her, or like not because of. Like, whatever lack of you guys may be thinking of. No. You take an L for doing what you did to Miles. Like, I'm not going to say what she did. It wasn't really anything that affects the story. Just something that was a personal gripe with me. I was like, ma'am, like, screw you. Or I, I didn't, didn't want to say F you. But maybe Miguel and her will redeem themselves. I don't know. Hobie was a bro. Hobie was a bro. Um, who else did I, uh, Pavateer, like, he was awesome, uh, I felt bad for Penny, I'm glad, uh, her, Spider Ham and Spider Noir came in the end to do what they're gonna do, um, and also F. Miguel, yeah. <laughs> Because, like, the reason I also mention to me Miguel's self-righteous because he's doing a lot of things that, honestly, I even question if he's really an anti-hero. Because, uh, honestly, I don't even look at him as a hero. Like, you're thinking, 
he made the hard decisions. While those so-called hard decisions to me seem more cowardly, because if you look, there's a I was watching Classic Man D's video on Miguel's uh, logic, and honestly, I can see the flaws. Like literally, and this could tie into No Way Home because which is I funny I'm mentioning this because. Remember, he mentions Doctor Strange in this freaking movie, uh, and he's a Doctor Strange little nerd on Earth one nine 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 because they have to kind of say that now because of literally. Thank you, Emman Bellani, aka Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan's actress, for bringing that, and also Oscar Isaac as Miguel O'Hara, because um, we had Earth six one six with Peter B. Parker and Mayday, so they can't really say this, but. He, I know he said, oh, I've done things that I'm not, I've done some things that I'm not proud of, but the way how it, they did him and executed him, it wasn't bad, it's just that it pissed me off. You don't bear like this, and you wanna do right, that'll make you right, and you wanna do right, that'll make you like this. If you make three lefts, you can make a right, but you wanna waste time, and time is priceless. And sometimes time can be life for life. If you get a little scratch, and they flip the vinyl, but there's no no scratches to make you timeless. And now with those last, the pain of violence, don't be over those bandits, you made me like this. You wanna learn right till it came and blinded, but it's only bright lights on the main assignments. And I don't got time for the ache and whining, so you need more time on the stand side, bitch. I got one chance, I'ma do it. You couldn't do it once, I might do it twice. Anything I do, but I do it nice. I hit every board, I don't run a corner, ain't it? You a sight, you ain't moving right with a siren light, but you moving right. You might lose a half, it's a future wife. You with you and I, do and die. That's a six feet, that's a super tie. That's a U.S. sky, that's a fluid kite. That's a swimmer fish, that's a scuba dive. Then I stutter, that's a suicide. Dropping multiverses in the multiverses. Multiple of me like multi-terrorists. Had to share my being, now I'm multi-perfect. Do Inferno Fire on the motor proof, it's on cloud. Okay, Daddy Fast I was going too hard for that. We're going to keep up with all these. You mentioned the multiverse. Like, he's talking about canon events because the song is called Canon Event. Because the canon event is when a certain thing is set up, a certain set, a certain setup for the Spider Verse or something. And, then, and I love the fact that Miles called out this is even, this is a messed up algorithm. Because also the reason why Miguel's. And this isn't me hating on the song. This is me throwing hands with the character verbally. Literally, it, and if you remember the Edge of uh, Time uh, Spider-Man game, and, so, and Class Man didn't even put this up. Why Miguel's logic is freaking flawed. And it's like, if you literally are going to legit do let these people, let innocent people die on the sake of saving the universe... That's the same as doing nothing as Spider-Man. Like, if you are going to do that, you know nothing about being Spider-Man. And he had to hear that from the OG himself. Because Peter B. Parker is the one who told him that. That's why I have a... That's a reason why I'm not listening to Miles... I mean, not Miles, Miguel's logic. No, screw that. Like, literally, you're... you rather stay in the status quo and stay in a algorithm like a little punk then actually try to break the algorithm because you're literally doing the same as nothing daddy fast says i'm not do getting mad at you i'm literally i just saw this movie yesterday with my mom because i one it was me hanging out for my birthday two i didn't get to see this movie when it first came out because i had pneumonia i literally just saw a flash the week before i'm and I'm still feeling feels from that movie. It was a great movie. And it was a good experience. My mom and dad don't know that much about Miles. So it was a very interesting. My, my mom said it was a very interesting movie. This is a bit. Because my parents don't really watch cartoon movies. Like I do. Unless my nephews are. Or, or younger members are fairly involved. So I'm sorry if it seems like I'm lashing out at you. I know I'm lashing at Miguel. Nothing to see. Then I start hearing the shriek. All of a sudden, it beep, beep. See, 
while you listen to me and already I'm bobbing the sea got a titty anomaly this is relating to okay I, I just might saw ground on them <laughs> where uh I'm at but uh going back to this that's because he basically what I I know Miguel well, has suffered a loss in this movie because of well him what he did with his can with the can event that he messed up but here's the thing what you did is completely different from the things that they prevented in this movie and on top of that what you were trying to stop miles from trying to uh for him to try to stop and i understand the term of not you can't have your cake and eat it but at the same exact time Spider-Man isn't about letting that status quo hit. It's about trying to do both. It ain't about trying to do one thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. I wonder if he's going to mention anything about uh, the old ninja vampire thing. Because I forgot Miguel had that whole vampire type situation going on. <laughs> Like, uh, when he mentioned Hobby, it made me think of Hobie. <laughs> like, I love the fact that Hobie did that. He was like, I quit. Like, and he was a, again, he was a bro that, oh, oh my God. Um, and I really want to go into spoilers because there are people who haven't seen this movie yet. But to me, in this movie, I was like, my, Miguel, you are a bully. I don't care if you are quote unquote keeping, the Sp Spider Universe is no, you are a bully. No, F you. This is that was for all you Call of Duty players. I don't play Call of Duty or Modern Warfare. First time I played Modern Warfare, I actually had a lasting headache that I had to sleep off. I'm not even joking about it. I went to the gym with my brother. I didn't really even do that much because I had a massive headache from playing Modern Warfare 2 because I do not like playing for first person games. That gave me a headache. And I literally had to sleep off by my other brother's house when I was hanging out spent I didn't run the time. Literally, I had to sleep off a headache from playing that game because he said this, uh, that in the Call of Duty uh, come a ghost. Call of Duty Ghost Protocol. Uh, you get it. But, oh my god, I'm so set off right now. I'm sorry. Well, not real. Uh, well, okay, I am sorry for people who are like getting tired of me ranting about Miguel Hara. I was so worried this was going to happen. Like, this is why I'm going to try to shuffle this because I the next one might be Diggs, and I'm very interested about what that one's going to be. But yeah, like Miguel, like was we trying to weed out anything that was an anomalies, and I. Is it safe for me to say that Miguel O'Hara was Aaron, the Aaron Yeager of the Spider Verse? Is that is that safe for me to say that he's Aaron Yeager in this situation, like t season four Aaron specifically? I don't know. That was good. Again, I don't have with Miguel O'Hara, but oh well. This was good. I am looking forward to Diggs' uh, other Spider-Verse uh, 
like um part two uh thing. So now we're gonna just react to Diggs. J. Jonah Jameson, here and I've been picked to host this battle between two of the city's top tier menaces. Oh. Doesn't matter to me Who's which one of these silly web crawling freaks win. Hopefully they'll both embarrass themselves. Shut. Rapper on my left, introduce yourself. Oh my Rapper God. on my right, introduce yourself. Okay, Miguel won the coin toss and chose to go second miles. It's on you. Okay. Now you said you ain't even want to rock. <laughs> Too late because now you have to, loser. Ah! I wasn't even going to start with you. What has tail, Miles? I guess this had to happen sooner. See, I was just trying to help. You know, be the hero. The path for supers. But now I'm about to go take up arms like Doc and send you back to the future. He chose to make this personal. Talking about throwing my fam in the pits. Say one more thing about my mom or my pops, and I'm going to let this venom blast. Now that's a real can in the pit. So you don't even land on the list of this mass utopia. The real spider, but on my watch, you scared? Arachnophobia. Crazy, right? And you make... Like, he's... Okay... I think Diggs is literally going old school because with, like, if you be seeing those wait, when rap battles, like, legit concrete rap battles, they really don't be going on off a beat. They are literally just going off their domes. Like, and he hit a lot of things. But my family pit, that's kind of a thing about why I, one of the reasons why Miguel pissed me off in the movie. Uh... And again, Cannon Van, because the song we just reacted to is called Cannon Van, and that's a term that's used in the freaking movie. You'd be right. But since I ain't supposed to be here, oh, no, why you spider. take this fight? Simple. You thought I was a pushover. But really, I'm a major factor. Came here dolo. You had to get an army. And I still evade the capture. I mean, really, you were... <laughs> He's right. He did evade the capture. Reason being... Miles had a plan. And he literally outsmarted a hundred, literally a hundred spider freaking people. Yeah, he almost got caught by a good amount of them. He got a few hits and licks from them. But dang, did he legit know he, what he was doing. And it led to that scene where he says, I'm going to do my own thing. Because I think Monster Multiverse said this in a uh, video. Miguel, I mean, I'm Miguel. Miles has often been, I wrote lately to do his own thing anyway, so that's good. Dope, bro. You was mean for laughter. Keep thinking shit funny, and this time it won't be a drug when your body get raised for rape. <laughs> and you the leader, bro. Well, then you need to go. Because all I see is a bunch of followers amongst the group and the need for growth. And one more thing, I'm not your son. So when you speak to me, you need to fix your tone. And don't worry about me and my shit, because in the future you feel to fix your own. Yo, that was crazy, kid. Is he wrong though? Is he freaking wrong? No, the freak he is not. Hi, right, Miguel. It's on you. All right. Lately, you've been feeling yourself. As he should. As spicy as if you own a town. But let's get this shit straight. This is light work, and it only take a few minutes just to walk a mile. See, I'm not the vulture, but with this eagle, I won't hesitate to hawk him down. Mm. So you need to relax before I start airing when I come off the prowl. <laughs> it's just the beginning. Prowl, like, it, it could also go to prowler. Uh, yeah, because you're on the move, but also prowler, like, Miles' uncle. <laughs> and see, you really got to be kidding me. Grown man hours in, more or less, you just a kid to me. So chill with this energy, because I'm not the enemy. Trying to release your energy, thinking it's going to put an end to me? You better settle down like we're Peter B, or end up like we're your universe Peter B. Meet us deep underground if you think you're seeing me. Because Miles Peter is uh, dead. Yeah. Uh, that's a one voice by Chris Pine. Yeah. Um, and yeah, well, here's the thing. Miles may be physically a kid, 
But how did he outsmart you? You run the, your dumb behind is from the future. Leader of a freaking bunch of jokes of what should be of characters who are known to be cool in the comics. But your co-captain, I don't care if she is about to be a, a mom. Your one of your the OG literally is a dad, and he knows how he, he knew how to handle Miles better than her. And you, you little freaking prick. And Diggs, uh, if you are what if you do come across it, you're gonna understand why I'm ranting right now. You know what? I'm gonna visit. Your mom, she a treat. And no, I ain't taking back anything I said about her because, like, Earth 616 Gwen Stacy, I'll break her back. No goblin shit. I'm. <sighs> that was disrespectful. And I know Diggs is doing both of them, but what the F? Why did you have to go there? That's mean. I get he's an a-hole, but still, even I wouldn't go there. I get the whole death of Gwen Stacy thing. And also, that's kind of actually foul also, because if you know Miles' universe, you know his version, his comic book Rio. Oh, Dorn Venom Wars. Oh, no, that led to, funny enough, the first Miles Morales comic I ever read. And if it wasn't for that comic, I wouldn't know who Cloak and Dagger are. And I'm gonna give it to a hard and stiff. So be on some typical Parker shit and take this job and quit. Throw in the mask oh. and hang up the suit. Honestly, I don't hate you. So when you quit, we'll even make a salute. If not, sit around and get gunned down. This ain't even work no more. I'm just having fun now. Listen, little homie. <sighs> that the gun down part actually goes to. The whole thing I was talking about Rio, and when he saw that, that Parker-ish uh, and throwing the uh, throw the suit, I mean, uh, get uh, throw away the suit or or uh, the thing, the my part he mentioned with the suit is that's a nod to the fact that Peter, the uh, comic book cover that has Peter throwing away, I mean, has Spider-Man suit thrown away and he's walking away. Which they did in Sam Raimi's Spider Man movie with Tobey Maguire and Spider Man Two. They do the same thing with Miles. And again, uh, I have uh, literally the comment that's post year after he does that. That's a Spider Man No More story that Diggs is referencing. Um, what that, what's the difference with this is it's a year after the Venom Wars. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, it's a lot. Keep my words. And you better be going by sundown. Shit, lucky for you, this battle really only one round. Now I see why people said Miles won that. Miles honestly won that. Not just because of bias, I but how I felt in terms of bars and how I feel towards yeah, Miles won that. That's just me. That's just how, how I feel about it. Okay, so and I, Thing we're gonna react to Halla just to switch it up. Then we're gonna probably go to Rustage. Oh. Let's uh, do it differently. At Honda, hybrid is more than fuel efficiency. It means sporty and fun to drive and making car and drivers 10 best list for the 37th time. The new 2023 Accord Hybrid. Always here for more Gwen Stacy. Ooh, how is really going in? And I'm not just saying it because it's Hal. I'm saying, like, because, again, I just saw the movie yesterday. And mm, 
the beginning with her her dad and Peter. Ooh. And also, if you that could also kind of play to uh, the whole thing. Um, there was a uh, my cousin cleared this up for me, but um, if in Gwen's room, and this and I'm, this is more or less I'm going off. Uh, this is going to go to the realism of a uh, real world kind of like issues in terms of this. Um, if there's a line that. Uh, she uh, talks about her uh, her being who she is, but this is it, at first I thought it was because of the background and them saying this, but apparently, and my cousin said in an interview, the colors of this scene actually indicates uh, the loss of uh, dealing loss of one parent and having rough ties with the single parent that they have, but there is a there was a, this flag put into um, Gwen's room, and that's the trans flag, and that could also. If you want to go right unnecessarily deep with this, go to the fact that there are people who are transgender. And again, this is not anything. I'm not talking about Gwen in this case. I'm talking about like in general. There are a lot of parents out there who can't accept the fact that their kid decided to like get a uh, tr decided transition to what they uh, felt like should have been their gender. That's uh, how I can interpret the realism in that line. Let me go back a little bit. So much is world, I'm in the game. Then I remember multiverses know my name. Hey! I'm a ghost girl, find me up in the Oh! Room. I'm a kid, bro, I get in your head. Woo! Hey, big joke, never catch me yet. Oh me my god! You don't say hero is the person you want to. I'm so slow, will I wing go next? Saving all those who have no respect. Ooh, why the shoe is going hard in that? Oh my god, that was that was juicy. But demonize me in your mind because uh I'm gonna go into a little bit of spoilers. She her dad, we see her dad uh try to take her down because like before he finds out like uh her identity. Yeah, he does find out her identity. That's that it happens in the comics too. Uh, the whole thing in this in this part of the comic book origins too. A lot of people think that Spider Gwen or Ghost Spider Spider Woman, whichever name you use for Gwen's Air Six Five uh, Gwen Stacy's Spider Persona, think that she killed Peter Parker. No, they literally fought. He died on his own at, during the fight, and that became a great great power comes great responsibility uh, moment. Because she's trying to move forward with the mistakes that she's made, and because in the, even in the present story, ooh, she does amazing. And I actually was a little bit upset with her, but she does redeem herself. And like, because there is a scene between her and Miles, and it's kind of really heartbreaking uh, when we see it because it's kind of the moment she realizes. She really effed up in this situation. This movie's so good. Doing my best all the time, and it ends up with them falling. Always guessing, does it count if I'm lost in my true calling? Maybe I changed along the way in my delusion. But for everyone, my actions always prove it all. Oh.
This is beautiful, Halla. And I've said this before, I've always been a Gwen Stacy fan over Mary Jane. But I do want to see Felicia get a chance with Peter. But we're Earth 65. Yes, always have for me, I want her with Miles. And again, like, I do like the fact that they're playing the, the fact that she is still her own character without necessarily just having to imitate Peter's great power, great responsibility moment. But she has her own. And Fairfield Shar said it in her um, song, and they even, and Gwen even says this in the movie, this mask is my badge. So that's the thing. And she's trying to do her best to do the help the people she loves. But the thing is, is always that counter and the whole uh, can the vent bull crap and whatnot. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, she has a struggle, but I'm glad she's at least finally trying to take charge and actually save what she can salvage and do better. Um, next, we're going to do uh, Mr. Daniel Theodore Rustich here. Um, and this character was something else. It, this character really was something else. Alright. Oh, and Ben's on this. Uh, yes, we're reacting to the Spot song. Rustage presents, inspired by the spot in Across the Spider, featuring Ben Schuller. Take everything. Wait, echo motion. You took everything from me. I'll take everything yeah. from you. Just another blip on the radar, another body in a hole that we gon' dig at the graveyard, another number on a screen that people skip with the space bar. You cannot look outside yourself if every window is stained glass. I'm not a Ooh, okay. Why well, he say take everything? Uh, he took everything from me. I take everything from him. That's something spotted. Because when you find out Spot's connection in this movie, you're gonna be like, what? And what he? Then the thing is, when he we see more of him later, the man becomes a whole freaking entity to the point that it's almost terrifying. Um, and also Russ is like, it's like. He's talking about the inverses, uh, and then this also involves Spot's powers, and uh, like just uh, things on a stained glass, because again he's covering spots, uh, and also maybe it deals with the fact he has no face, like. Yeah. The dog just the spaces you're leaving hollow. We got holes inside our hearts that we're hoping that we could swallow. Say we almost play a part whilst ignoring the people's sorrow. Cause I wish I had a future I could see for me tomorrow. Rise. We can, oh. Because, like, uh, Hearts of Hollow, because some people feel empty on the inside. And with literal Spot, he literally, his powers literally make holes. So, and he can't even put things in hit him, his body at times. Like, he, like we literally see a scene with him where bread comes out of his bo uh, stomach. Or the hole that's on his stomach. Yeah, it's a lot. A place, science, and I'm hiding in That's a spoiler. This man might be insane, psychopath, lying in the page, wide and back, cycle of change. I've a poop right in my place, fine, and left, right to the wayside, and that's why I'm gonna hate Spider Man. Now I'm wiping the slate clean, now the whole and I change streets. I don't care about fate, we take control of our daydreams. I've been hearing the same cheap, talking, giving about safety. You've been calling me crazy, but you're the person who made me. And you at first think he's a joke when he's saying you're my nemesis. No, there's more truth to it when you watch the movie, especially if you've seen, because uh, it ties in with the first film. I'm again, I think I said it. It ties in with the first film. I was like, I was like, what? I was like, that's how he cr got created. Because a lot of us thought that maybe it was going to involve Moreland and the engineers, but no, nothing related to it. I'm so far. Just to tear it apart Guess it's a brand new start I don't got nothing to lose I don't got nothing to lose I'm living a life that I didn't choose Ooh. As I walk in the door They laugh in my face but I'm gonna prove oh. 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 You took everything from 
from me I'll take everything from you Don't make the signs, bend in fate, we twist the lines Rip with time, playing God but don't care who you're victimized Different lives, I ain't sitting by while superheroes go out giving lies Funny how these giant fractures spawn for such a little bite You don't want to talk about morals, move who you like portals More than merely mortals, we are something more abnormal Power's like a drug and we gon' suffer from withdrawals that, That's cause when you're up you can't be feeling you're immortal You are the man oh. Oh my god, Rostad is talking! Like, he was talking because, like, because, like, the whole drug bar is suffering withdrawals. And also, like, when you're on that it, type of thing, it could feel like you're invincible because you're not in your right mind. You made with your choices, I can help follow dangerous voices. I'm the result of the hate you exploited, because like the odd game that you played with a choice, they keep being avoided. I can not stress every stage is appointed. You could be learning a lesson, I guess I'm the only one here who can take the appointments. Look with the point, I'm putting actions to words, talking in circles, I'm flattening the curve. Look at my mark every chapter in verse, they go sing in my joke, we went laugh when it hurts. But I'm the man they deserve, putting the focus like camera work. I put my arm in the heavens, or keeping my body and hands in the dirt. See how they handle the worst. I'm so far, just a tear it apart. Guess it's a brand new star. The time to fold, we play your role. We gonna live with empty holes. This life is so that you've been told. Cause I'm about to lose control. I don't got nothing to lose. I don't got nothing to lose. amazing this was amazing rustage my goodness like and also it, when uh ben was uh before, it was, uh the part we before he said no nothing to lose it sounded like uh lingan parts that their song uh indian when it says i tried so hard and got so far in the end, it doesn't even matter. I had to fall to lose it all. In the end, it doesn't even matter. It sounded like that, but that was great. And that was menacing. And I'm glad that, that he was still able to play with the fact that, yeah, like they took him as a joke. But, ooh. Sorry guys, uh, my camera uh, shut off on its own. Um, and you can't believe you see this, the reason I'm mentioning this, because I mentioned in a video that I'm probably gonna mash up with this, that I was doing a Spider-Verse mass reaction. So, uh, you're in actually, I, you're actually the last one on that. Uh, because we reacted to Daddy Pass Snaps, Diggs, um, Halla, Rust station that we're reacting to you. Um, because, um, I'm fine. I didn't, I finally saw the movie, so I'm, I decided I do, do this mass reaction. So, okay, with Night of Breath, where it's uh, Spider Wins All, My Mask, like uh, KOB, Night of Breath, uh, Prod, Unknown Instrumental, or producer, uh, Unknown Instrumentals, and Marvel. And also, before we, uh, play this song, Night of Breath went off on this Street Fighter site for just to remind y'all. This sounded like a very campy beat. Hey, that's from Marvel Rising. Uh, and that's from the first Spider-Verse. Oh! Yo, this sounds like some 2003 throwback music. And I'm here for it. And also, like... Mm. She's talking to her daddy. She's talking to her dad. My mask, it makes me sad. Reminds me of my dad. Reminds me of the only friend I've ever had. I can count on my feelings with... Oof. 
she going on saw that from the movie too. Because if you've seen the movie and you've been paying attention to the reaction, that's what I mentioned the Hallow stuff and the uh, stuff that uh, Gwen had to deal with. Yeah. Also, this version of Gwen is voiced by Duff Cameron, who was on Agent of Shield as Ruby. She needs to play her. I think she needs. Oh, so if you've ever watched Disney's Ascendant, she's uh, Maleficent's daughter, Mal. And she was also uh, Liv and Maddie on. I never watched the show, but I know they played. The she played dual roles with Liv and Maddie. But I think Duff Cameron needs to play live action Gwen Stacy in the MCU. The bang of a drum makes no anger inside. Think I'd rather be numb. Loneliness tries to hurt me, but I'll never succumb. Now that I've told you the truth, don't want your feeling so dumb. I can leave this universe behind without a second look. It was like my family, his life was one I never took. It's obvious you don't believe me. This is... You, if you guys have not seen the movie, these are low-key spoilers. Uh, oh my god, this scene. Oh, that scene. And those words are hitting because I just saw this movie yesterday. <laughs> I'll leave today so you'll have your peace. I hope tonight you're sleeping easy. Not too proud to miss you clearly. Oh! Oh. was a scene that was a scene that was heartbreaking oh my god was... night of breath if you ever wa if you watch this reaction full and full through i will be shocked for one thing because like it's probably going to be long uh two if you or if you just skip to your part just like you know miguel pissed me off just to know that Sorry if that seems like I'm saying, I'm trying to disrespect you tonight, but my God, woman, you have been leveling up. Oh my God, why, I, oh my God. Oh, this song is so beautiful. Oh my God. Oh my God. And she's saying something, from, oh my God. Uh, also, she brought the old death of Gwen Stacy thing with this. Uh, in every universe, Gwen City falls for Spider-Man and doesn't always end well. Well, Miles it being a certain word I can't say if you haven't seen the movie. And him saying, I'm going to do my own thing. Let these two be it together. Please. Oh, hold on, I'm trying to... I got it. Those two, my last kid is my badge. Wanted to make, make you bad. Wanted to be the best daughter you've ever had. had. My last kid makes me sad. Reminds me of my dad. Reminds me of the only, only friend I ever had. had. I've ever yeah. had. On the mix. 
night of breath. This was awesome. Oh my god. Oh my god. This was so freaking good. Oh my god. And I'm sorry if it seems like I'm acting over dramatic. One, I'm a huge Gwen Stacy fan. Her and Felicia are my favorite two love and, and Sybil's favorite are my favorite love interest of Spider-Man. Two, Haley Seinfeld's great as Gwen Stacy. Actually, she is Kate Bishop. Because <laughs> she's MCU Kate Bishop, that's why. Uh, <laughs> but I've also, ever since I saw the Miles and Gwen comic crossover, I've actually been down for this pairing because I look at it this. Her Peter Parker is gone. And I know people will say Miles should have his own original love interest, and he does have some. Ironically, funny enough, since I mentioned, I mentioned Kate Bishop, his Ultimate Universe, his first girlfriend was Kate Bishop. But her, that case, Kate Bishop, her family was a part of Hydra. Like, but, oh my god, this was such, it, it has a campy sound, but it still has a lot of heartfelt, actually, because I was feeling those emotions. And, oh my god, oh my god, I'm I love the Howl of Gwen song, but I think this one, out of the three songs I've listened to from Frivolous, Howl of, Night of Breath, right now, Night of Breath, you might have the top one. Out of the three I actually have listened to, this might change as the days go by, but if it doesn't and this song is still playing in my head, like the same way as certain other songs then, woman, you have literally won the top place for my favorite Spider-Gwen songs as of right now for this movie. <laughs> and, yeah. I am so glad I got to finally react to these. Because, again, KP, if you skip uh, the other ones, uh, skip the other parts of the reaction, go to the, your uh, to your song, you see this. I just had uh, saw this for my birthday vacation because I'm on vacation right now. I saw it with my mom. Um, first time, Her first introduction to Miles Morales. But I was so happy to see finally see this movie because uh, to kind of get the rundown, I was going to go see it the week after it came out by a pneumonia. So, yeah. Oh, my God. I am freaking the freak out right now. But I'm so glad I finally got to relate these, relate these songs. I'm going to have to mesh this one together because, again, my camera shut off automatically after um, I reacted to Russage and Ben Schuller's song for the spot. So... I'm going to say the tag oh my uh the thing is one scribe the night of breath and also you better y'all better listen to that listen to this song. I'm trying not to I'm I, you know I don't like cussing on this channel, so like oh my god. If y'all like my video of my like, like the reactions, mass reaction, please subscribe and share. But also check out Night of Breath and any of the people who's gonna be in this uh that I'm going to link after the song. I'm mean, after this video is edited and whatnot. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. Peace in flip.